This is a P1 energy video looking at the required practical of effectiveness of materials as thermal insulators. Now you probably had some different beakers with different materials around each beaker. Okay, here we've got different lids. So there's a, a wool sock lid, an aluminium foil lid, newspaper, and then bubble wrap lids. Okay, so right in the method for this, we're gonna set up four beakers with different insulating materials. One could be no insulating material at all. That's our control. And when we associate the word control, we always think about comparing. Okay, so we're gonna compare everything to the one that has no insulation at all. And we're probably gonna wrap the material around our beaker. We fill each beaker with a fixed volume of water and I've gone for 100 millilitres of hot water and we measure and record the starting temperature using a thermometer. We use the stopwatch to measure five minutes, so that's another control variable as well as the volume of water and after five minutes we record the temperature of the water and from that we can calculate the temperature change, so how much the temperature has dropped after five minutes and then we can compare our results to find out which one is the best insulator. <coughs> it could be that they are using one particular insulator and they decide that actually if they use two layers of the insulator, it's they're, they're trying to see if is it twice as effective as using one layer. A three layers, three times as effective as using one layer. So it could be that you're looking at number of layers of one particular material, or it could be changing the different types of material used as insulators. And normally this refers to some kind of winter coat um, and which material is best for it. So in this particular experiment, we had the independent variable. What we changed was the type of material. The dependent variable is the temperature change, the temperature drop um, after five minutes in degree C. Be careful there, don't write degrees. It's not an angle, it is degree C. And then control variables, I said them at the time, we've got volume of water, um, initial start temperature because that makes a big difference depending um, if, if you started one at say 60 degrees and your room is 20 that will drop in temperature faster than if you started at say 40 degrees and your room is 20 okay so trying to get as close to um, the same starting temperature is um, a good idea uh, temperature of the room would make a difference for the same reason that I just stated and the number of layers of insulating material would need to be controlled. So we've got one independent variable, what are we changing? We've got the dependent variable, what are we measuring? And which we've got the start, the end and then the change in temperature and it's the change in temperature that's important ultimately and then lots of controlled variables to make it a fair test. Okay, Controlled variables, only changing one thing makes it a fair test. Hope you found that useful. Thank you.